Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we are fans of board games both new and old. Today we're going to be unboxing Fortune City um, and this is from Big Fun Games. And I've just picked this up at Eschenspiel um, 2019 and I in fact got to demo it. <laughs> so this is one of the rare occasions where I I'm unboxing something and I know what's in the box. Now, of course, I don't know how it's actually laid out or anything in here. Um, so we'll still have a bit of fun in, in showing off what's in the box. Um, but yeah, this is a, a lovely little city building game. Um, it would remind you a little bit of Suburbia, except this focuses quite a bit on money. Um, and as you can see, it's it's kind of cute and adorable. Um, not, yeah, it's entirely the case. So. Let's start anyway and see. So first things first is the box itself feels lovely. It's quite a, a big box, like it's deep. And as you can see underneath it here, I just took the cellophane wrap off before you guys arrived um, because no one wants to watch me do that. And the English rules were attached to the back. So they're probably not inside. So I'll put them in in a second and we can look at those um, once I finish looking at the box. So it's cute and adorable and you can see how it's laid out. This is actually very like the game. It's a game for two to four players. It takes 30 to 45 minutes to play. And uh, here we go. You can see on the back how it looks. See the, the giant, me the giant meeples with giant heads, which we'll be seeing more of soon. And it says, Mayor, welcome back. Um, so you're a mayor of your own city. And you basically want to create urban prosperity and rank as a winner among your friends. Yeah, that's a, that sounds good, doesn't it? Um, okay, so let's see what's inside. Mm, yeah. All right, woo, okay. <laughs> it's definitely big. Um, so I'm going to start with the rule book because it's here and we'll see what type of rule book we got because um, I had someone teach me it. So the paper in it is quite thin. It's like a, a comic book which is fine but it's a good size rule book. It is indeed the size of the box. Um, so here we go. Here's an introduction, some components, um, starting goods and things like that and list everything that you need with lots of pictures actually. It's got lots of pictures which is very nice. Um, how you set it up. Always good, and all the different tokens for two players, three players, four players. I like that there's a version for two. And then a gameplay flowchart. That's quite nice, isn't it? So this is exactly how everything is supposed to go. Very good. Pay the cost of goods in your tiles, yep. And then you can have citizens. So this is like special rules for building banks. Um, I really like all the pictures. I think the colour as well on this is easy to read. And there's not too much text together without it being broken up. Obtain income and credit card rewards. Yes, there is a credit card in the game. How cool. And game ends and scoring. And the player with the highest score wins the game. You're the greatest mayor of all. I like, that. I like that. So on the back, okay, it's got strategic advice, which is cool. And it's got an example of a round. That's quite helpful, actually. There's two things in here that you don't normally see in rule books. And I think they both sound really helpful. All right, let's go digging. So first things first, we have two empty bags. Suspicious. And then we have, oh, they have actually sorted the meeples by colour. So I'll take out at least one of these um, pink ones. They all have different people on them, but so you get, unsurprisingly pink has the little girl on it. But you see the size of the head on them, they're crazy. They're very chunky pieces. Um, and all the meeples look like this. So we keep digging. Dig, dig, dig. So we have green meeples. I'll show you the picture of who's on them. You can see the little guy. And then there are like the VIP meeples are in here. Oh, with your little lorry. So the cool thing about this game is, so you get your tiles and you build your city, right? You spend money, that's how you do things. However, you also have one of these, the little van. And it gets to move as part of the phase at the end of the turn. And you can make it go faster and things like that. Um, but it goes over your tiles and it picks up the bonuses on your tiles so you can get more money or more victory points But it always has to go um, in a path. So you kind of you need to build a path for it um, These are the VIP meeples. So they these are wild they can be used as any color um, And you can buy these ones and then two other colors left So we'll show you the next one there's like another little boy meeple on the orange and then there's a girl meeple on the blue, so we don't have to feel bad that the girl had the pink. She also got the blue. Right, so next down. So we have some cubes, and these are for, you know, each player color. Yes, they're primary colors. 
Um, which isn't weird because the colours of the meeples, you know, are slightly off. So maybe they would be good for anybody um, with colour blindness or something like that. Apparently I've got a code for an app. Hmm. QR code. I'm going to look this up. I would like to play this online. Who knows? Okay. Um, we get a giant score. Um, map. Score map. Do you hear me? Um, pieces of paper for keeping your score. So obviously you fill in what, you know, your victory points are and you add them up at the end. Loads of that. Okay. We're getting further down. I found more advertising in my box. It looks like it's actually for a credit card. <laughs> Which isn't surprising because maybe they made some deal because you see your credit cards have cocoa on them too. Combi cash? I don't know. <laughs> I'll show you the credit cards because I quite like those. These are one of the things I spotted when walking by the game. When it was all set up so you can see you get a little credit card. It's your credit card for your little bank. And then you flip it over. And what you do is you see you have your money here. You get to fill up your credit card when you go to the bank and then you can spend from it here. Um, and then any diamonds you might pick up which are worth victory points at the end of the game you store here. So it's not overly functional but I just thought it was a really nice touch. Especially in a game that's kind of like, you know, about money. I thought it was very cool. Okay, we got a big bag! Way. So this is Fortune City, track your spending, grow a city. And in here will go the tiles um, that you will build your city with. So you, you replace them at the end of the round I think they come from here. Or is it the meeples? Might be the meeples come from here. Right, so we've come to the other rule book, nah, -uh, and some silica. There's always silica in the in these in these little Asian games. Yeah, so why am I even looking? It's in another language, but you know, there you go. Right, and now we're into the wood portion, or well, the cardboard portion. Oh my god. Okay, so there's a lot of popping. Yeah, so this is all money. The boards are a little warped, and you can see some of the the city tiles here. So you can see. Um, what happens with the city tiles is you buy them for whatever cost and then you have to pay it again to flip them over and they're different on the other side. So for instance that's this side and then they go in your city they're on this side so you see these ones put out like little dustbins. So speaking of dustbins, here we have some dustbins. We have some of the gold coins, gold coins are wild, you can, you can use them to buy anything and then there are diamonds. And then here's are your mare tokens to designate which colour player you are. And here's some of the, these are the player boards actually. So I'll pop one out. <laughs> yes, everything but it should pop out. Here we go. We get, we get two. Yeah. So this is what you start with at the beginning of the game. So you can have two tiles waiting for construction. That's the start of your city. And this is where meeples hang out in the park where they've got no place to go. It's unemployment park, I believe it's called. And um, so you all start with that and then you build your city out. So that's pretty cool. Okay, then we go to the next level. So there's the starting player token, which is this this bunny. I, I think it's a bunny, but it's got a very long tail to be a bunny. Is it a cat? I'm not really sure. So there's some bank tokens or bank tiles. <coughs> more bank tiles. And then you get more of the, the kind of city ones. They're very cute um, and adorable. And they're nice sturdy cardboard too. So you can see we have more of these, a couple of different types of shops. Yep, more tiles, and then this is the board for the, the middle of the table. So what you'll do is you'll move up these tracks depending on if you get those type of meep those coloured meeples into the coloured tiles in your city. Um, and these will give you things like extra money, allow your vehicle to move slightly further, give you victory points and stuff. And then you've got like the turn order listed here, which I thought is nice, the steps you go through to remind you. So that seems to be like everything in the box. There's actually a good lot of stuff in the box, isn't there? Now that I now that I look back, I'm so determined to see if this is in fact some sort of credit card ad. That would just be hilarious. It does say combo eye cash. <laughs> um, so who knows? Who knows? Um, but yeah, so I had I had a lot of fun playing this. It was quite cute um, and easy to play. Um, and sometimes you just want something nice to sit down with, don't you? Something that's kind of cute. So definitely grab my eye. Um, I'll be doing a full review of it. Um, hopefully sooner rather than later. And you guys can watch and, and learn a little more if you're interested. Um, but it's definitely one that's um, kind of exciting. So you've been watching Board Game Inquisition. And we've just unboxed 
Fortune City. Um, <laughs> you can tell I'm really excited. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, why not think about liking or subscribing to the channel um, so you can get updates about future videos. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions and trying to build the best city. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.